there are two agents being uh, studied here. One is PVS RIPO, which is a chimera of a rhinovirus with a Sabin type 1 polio virus uh, that was used in the polio vaccine. Uh, and pebrolizumab, which is a commercially available uh, PD-1 in, uh, checkpoint inhibitor. And the rationale for this is that in 2018, there was a very highly cited paper in the New England Journal of Medicine that demonstrated that PVS RIPO uh, alone uh, in a phase one trial, A, was tolerated, and B, when they looked at survivals at 36 and 60 months, there are 21 percent uh, in the treated group and uh, only 4 percent uh, at 36 months and 0 percent at 60 months in the untreated group. So that was in, in the setting of recurrent GBM, that, that's really a game changer. Uh, that was extremely impressive. And a lot of people were uh, very thoroughly surprised by that. And so we did an initial phase two, multi-center phase two, that the initial study was a phase one study, but the multi-center phase two more or less replicated that and uh, is also, by the way, being presented at ASCO, both replicated that in terms of safety and efficacy, at least preliminary data. The question is, 21% is good in the setting of recurrent GBM for 36 months survival. But the question is, how do you improve on that? And there's a lot of interest in, obviously, immunotherapy. And uh, we thought perhaps this could be combined with a checkpoint inhibitor. And there's some preliminary data in uh, murine GBM models that suggested that PVS RIPO plus uh, a PD-1 inhibitor, which is what pembrolizumab is, was synergistic and actually survival in these murine models was greater with the combined treatment than with either one alone. And then there was a small uh, study uh, cohort of, of patients at Duke that was treated with a combination, and they seem to have what appear to be a radiologic response. Uh, we don't know much about survival at this point, but that seemed to suggest that it was A, tolerated, and B, might be efficacious. And, and that was a rationale for the current study. The design of the Lumino study is patients get the PVS RIPO up front. First, there's a biopsy confirming recurrent GBM. Then a catheter is inserted into the, the tumor. And the next day, uh, the PVS RIPO is uh, inserted using a process called convection enhanced delivery. Basically, it's slowly perfused under a gentle pressure over about six hours. Then two weeks later, two to four weeks later, the patients are treated with uh, pembrolizumab, which is then repeated every three weeks, uh, which is typical of pembrolizumab. Now, to be eligible, patients have to be on low dose of steroids and have unifocal tumors of a certain size and have a K KPS Karnofsky score uh, of 70 or greater. And there are a number of other entry criteria. Uh, but uh, that, that really is a rationale for the study. It's very similar to the initial phase two study, just adding pembrolizumab uh, at two to four weeks post CED and then repeat it every three weeks. The study is ongoing. Uh, the goal is to accrue 30 patients, and uh, we're hoping to do this in 10 sites. Obviously, if survival is better with uh, PVS RIPO plus checkpoint inhibitor, then one would imagine that would be easily easy to implement. Uh, Pembrolizumab is an FDA-approved drug for several indications, although currently GBM is not one of them. Uh, but that would certainly, you know, not be hard to I imagine one would th that would be approved if uh, if it showed improved survival. One would also imagine that it would be a, a great thing for the field of neuro oncology. Right now, there is no standard of care for patients with recurrent GBM and uh, median survival is quite poor, as you probably know. So this is uh, very impressive.